to use this to my advantage, I always wanted to be better at slapping on the guitar. Could you maybe show me something? Or talk yeah. a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, let's see what you can do now. Uh, what, are we, what are we working with? That's really? not a good start. <laughs> so I kind of know the three basic movements. I think the first one is the slap. Yeah. Uh, the second one should be the pop. Yeah. And the third one that I do, I hope it's not some random thing, is like some... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's good. That's oh, all right. <laughs> oh, no. So yeah. what I always did is I only know one pattern, I think. Like a... Okay. And you can do more than this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that was like... Like that? Well, nice. Sounds okay. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> sounds better on bass. <laughs> okay, so if you can do that, then you can also do uh, open hammer slap pluck. Yes, yes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. So that's a fun little thing you can add in, like. Nice. So when you play stuff like this, you work with octaves a lot. Yeah, I think to. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. yeah, octaves are very handy in slap. Uh, it's, it lets you play really funky and fast, and you don't have to think too much about what you're yes. playing. You don't have to, yeah. <laughs> so, and, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then add, add, the, add the pop. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's the hard thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's a cool thing you can do. Play play the thing that you you know. Okay. So can you do octaves like this? Yeah. Yeah, the timing is the most difficult thing, like switching between the the slap and the pop. Okay. Uh, let, let, let me see it again. Do you have it placed? Uh, obviously not placed on the on the bridge, no, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. Finding the slap or uh, the pop. Yeah. So I think I think what might help is if uh, you try and have your your pop finger in place because right now you're going kind of like this. Then I try to find it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like if you have it. The guitar is really small. It is. It's one of the problems. <laughs> yeah. So it feels kind of. I would have to do this. You can okay. start like that if you want. Yeah. Yeah. So see if you can play this with me. One, two, three, four. Yeah, nice. <laughs> you got it. Hey everyone, I just wanted to quickly let you know that you can download all of the tabs for every exercise in this video, and I've also made backing tracks for you to practice along with. You can download all of that for free at the Basecamp Patreon if you just sign up for the seven day free trial of the gold membership. That'll also give you instant access to the beginner slap bass course, as well as hundreds of other bass lessons and tabs covering everything from music theory to finger style technique and a lot more. So if you want to take your bass playing to the next level, just click the link in the description and I'll see you there. Yeah, to me, the, the coolest thing that I, I think I haven't thought about is when you hear like really fast uh, stuff, like you, like you just did the... 
Yeah. I always thought you have to either slap or pop every single note, mm. and not that there's a hammer on in between that you could use to do this. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, one of the secrets to slapping fast is having a lot of different articulations at your disposal. So you're not just going <laughs> like uh, like this kind of bass line. So I'm using uh, slap, hammer on, uh, pop, left hand. Yeah. Like that. Um, let me think. That's it for that one. But there's about twelve. There's there's a lot of different articulations. It might be. 10 or something, because then you can get pull-ups involved. Uh, do you have some uh, special EQ or completely flat for slap or tapping? Yeah, uh, so for slap, I usually have the mids down a bit and the bass and treble up a bit, especially like the really high treble, like 2k hertz up. Uh, that just gives it that crisp sound and I use quite a bit of compression because otherwise the pops tend to be a lot louder than the slaps and that and yeah compression just evens everything out and then I actually have just a tiny bit of reverb don't know if you can hear it yeah. just a tiny bit of reverb and that helps to like give it this little bit of sizzle especially on the pops um, that's pretty much it. A good this uh, I've got a quad cortex down here. It's got really nice amp models that helps a lot too. Uh, just going DI and then using compression and EQ, it's okay, but it doesn't sound as cool as if you've got like a nice either real amp uh, or something like quad cortex that has really cool amp plugins. Yeah, and something you generally want a pretty modern amp model, like something like a hard key or a Galleon Kruger because that's what's going to give you that really crisp modern sound. Um, the older, the more vintage amps, they sound great for just rock bass lines and stuff like that. Not quite as good for slap and tap. And my tapping setup is actually very similar. It's um, Unless I'm tapping with a band, in which case I usually, so this is me tapping solo. But in a band setting, you often want a bit more mid, so that you cut through the mix a bit more. So I often roll the blend knob back towards the bridge pickup, and that gives it more like this kind of sound. That just helps you cut through the mix. The super high frequencies don't really, uh, you don't notice them as much because the hi-hat and all of that is already covering those types of sounds.